We recently made a trip from our home in Florida to LA. That's Lower Alabama for those of you that don't know. This video is about that trip, but it is also about how our new Ford Maverick did as a toad. We stayed at Three Rivers State Park on the way up and Stephen Foster Cultural Center on the way back. What did I learn on the trip? Let's start with hookup. I have determined I like the Roadmaster base plate on the Maverick better than I did my Blue Ox base plates on the Jeeps. The tags are bigger and appear to be stronger, although the Blue Ox tags are adequate. What I like about the Roadmaster tags is they are a single tube for the pin to push through, and the spring-loaded pin to hold it in place also goes through the base plate. The Blue Ox tags have two extensions, and the end of the tow bar has three that sandwich around them. That may seem more secure, but it means they sometimes bind when trying to unhook. I always carried a hammer to drive the pin out when needed. The Roadmaster did not bind once on the entire trip. The Maverick needs to be exercised. By that I mean you are supposed to start the engine and put the vehicle in drive for a while and then into reverse for a while. Aside from normal stops, I only did this once for the entire trip. We do not normally drive over six hours a day anyway. The one time I exercised the map before stopping for the day only took a few minutes it did not pose much of an inconvenience. Our first stop heading north of I-75 is usually at the rest area at mile marker 278, just north of Tampa. We refer to this as Winston's Rest Area because it has a dog run. It was here we saw a unity that looked just like ours. It turned out we had more in common than look-alike unity. The lady driving was taking it to California to La Mesa RV. The Fort Myers La Mesa RV had taken it in on trade and were prohibited from selling it in Florida even as a used RV. It seems the Florida dealer has an exclusive arrangement with LTV. So what does that have in common with us? We actually purchased our Unity from La Mesa in California. We turned our trade in to Fort Myers location and flew to California and picked up our Unity. We have a playlist of that adventure coming home. We spent the night at Three Rivers State Park in Sneeds, Florida. As we were driving in, the sky was very smoky. Apparently, the Forest Service was doing controlled burns. Fortunately, it cleared as we approached the park, but it made for a gorgeous sunset. It was here I learned a lesson when unhooking. My Jeeps had a manual lever for putting the emergency brake on. Simply pull up the handle. It was automatic to do so. The Maverick has an electronic brake and I did not start the vehicle and set it before unhooking. Our campsite looked flat, mostly, but when I unhooked the second Roadmaster tag, it immediately came loose, and without the tow bar holding it back, the Maverick, being in neutral, started rolling towards the Unity. It was not fast, and I could hold it back, but there I was stuck. I couldn't move, or the Maverick would keep rolling forward. Fortunately, a fellow camper came to my rescue, and he held it while I went around and set the brake. That won't happen again. The next morning, we moved on to Southern Alabama, where we spent most of the trip mooch docking at my in-laws. That gave me time to practice with my new drone. Here are a few shots.
it came time to pack and head home. On the way, we stayed at Stephen Foster Cultural Center, which is also a Florida State Park, and one of our favorite places to stay. It is in White Springs, Florida. The park has a museum dedicated to Stephen Foster and a bell tower that occasionally chimes out some of his music. Our Maverick is averaging better than 41 miles per gallon. That is saving me a lot of fuel. I mentioned in an earlier video, the Maverick is also lighter than even my two-door sport Jeep was. The Unity just glides when it's pulling it. It turns out that the Mav is saving me fuel in another way. My average fuel consumption on the Unity pulling my Jeeps has been 12.3 miles per gallon. On this trip, we averaged 14.3 miles per gallon. Yes, the MAV does save me fuel even when being towed. I am delighted with my new pickup.